Resorted Finale needs to relax. Calls to let them go. Starter pulls the lever and they off in racing. French Impact, give me another chance. Those were the first two to hear the starter. And Captain Wada, round runners, is also right up there. Shakath, Brotherhood of Magic, just off the speed. Champimpi is a bit headstrong, fighting for its head is Champimpi. Five lengths off the leader. On the inside is Diesel's shadow behind that one. Mutarazi finds itself about six lengths off the speed. Resorte Finale is towards the back end. And Dreamland is going to have to get past them all. So give me another chance, has gone off to lead them. There's no excuses this afternoon the short price favorites is dictating by a length and a bit french impact is racing away in second then comes brotherhood of magic in third further back to captain water then comes diesel's shadow behind that one shakath finds itself five lengths off the leader champimpi resort finale dreamland and mutarazi's got the purple sleeves about eight lengths off the leader so in front is French Impact now. Give me another chance on the inside. Yes, Captain Water down the center. Brotherhood of Magic is still four lanes off them. Then comes Resort of Finale, but give me another chance. Is now moved up and confidently ridden by Keegan DeMello. French Impact on the outside. On the inside, give me another chance. Has got a two-length advantage. French Impact is in second, but this is a one-horse race. Give me another chance. The punters have done that, and they off to a flying start. Give me another chance, wins well. French Impact in second, Resorte Finale has run third, and Mutarazi up for fourth. And Diesel Shadow. Well done to Keegan DeMello, well done to Mike DeCock. The punters are off to a flying start to Kaya Stables, PTY Limited. They got some lovely horses at the moment. And he was crying for this sort of a trip, and he was well backed into about 6 to 10. Give me another chance. Opens up the bar pot. The PA starts in race number two. Good win here by number six. Give me another chance. Doesn't need another chance. And this won't be the last. Mike DeCock, Keegan DeMello, well done to Kaya Stables and Vasantine who bred this one. But we're just going to have a quick chat here to Johannes, who's the winning groom, sponsored by World Sports Betting. He's going to pick up a check of one and a half thousand rand. Johannes, well done. This is a, a good horse. Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you very much. And I hope it can go on from here and pick up grade ones and twos, and then you can pick up lots of checks. Yes, yes, I'm happy. Yeah. Well done to you, Johannes. You take good, good care of the horse, and thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank here's, you. Here's, your, here's your check, one and a half thousand rand from World Sports Betting. Thank you, Johannes, very much. Sir. He has to go and look after his horse, and that's uh, exactly what a groom is all about. Now, Keegan, lovely start to the day. I mean, the horse had the form. Uh, it was a good one. Yeah, very good one. You know, you... There was some unexposed horses, you know, um, one, one or two that have run well last time, and uh, he's a smashing horse. Um, he's still got a lot to learn, and um, I think um, once he starts putting his full um, full effort into it, you'll see a better horse. I know it's 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 hard saying that when he's won like that, but uh, you can just feel there's a lot of improvement still. Now, it must be quite pleasing for you wearing these colours with a winning form cap and my, riding for Mike DeCock. Must be very pleasing. Yeah, I must just say very big well done to Mr. DeCock and his team. Big supporters of mine, and uh, I just can't uh, say thank you enough. And obviously, um, Kai Stables, Johan, Lady Laidlaw, I can't thank them enough either. Wherever I go, they give me the, the most amount of support, and uh, you just get to sit on some really nice horses at this time of year for them. Absolutely. Just quickly, you've got to just for King of the Seas, pour some sugar on me, Willow's Wish. I mean, there's not a horse there that doesn't have a chance. Yeah, look, I'm under a bit of pressure the first five, I see. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I've got two first-timers. Uh, I don't know anything about them, so it'd be unfair for me to give a comment on that mm. and uh, yeah then I thought the ones with form just VAR I thought um, had the form but he, he also has the bad draw to contend mm. with but uh, obviously um, Ashley and Andrew will have a plan with, with him going forward but um, I'll just try and uh, see how the race plans out and then uh, pour some sugar on me a professional maiden, maiden but uh, if he doesn't win today um, win win yeah thank you <laughs> yeah so um, just I'm um, hopeful and uh, Willow's Wish gone up in the weights a bit but uh, he looks to be the right horse um, there's a little bit of swing around with um, Mr. Zaki's horse but I don't think it's enough for, for him to beat me but uh, you know it's racing at the end of the day and uh, he's still got to carry the pudding great start well done thank you very much and to my sponsors again winning form thank you very much thank you King in the now here is Mike DeCock 
And yeah, give me another chance. Nice, Mike. Uh, the maiden now behind uh, him, and there are plenty, plenty places to go. Yeah, look, I, I, I really rate this horse. I think it's, you know, 14 mile. He's, he's got a big win in him, that's for sure. Um, nice professional effort today. Nice ride from Keegan, you know, to get him out, get him in the race. Um, yeah, you know, and to Christine, she's an absolute soldier. I mean, I've had no luck for her, really. Um, hopefully this, my last chance, not giving me another chance. <laughs> final we'll, chance. <laughs> we'll get it going. Yeah, final chance. That might be the next one. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, uh, nice horse, well, you know, very well done to her. She's a absolute mensch and a, and, a, and a super supporter of the industry. And, uh, uh, you know, well done to her team with uh, Jahan and herself. And, yeah, um, they're doing a good job for her. Certainly, Anna. You got a check coming, but may I just ask you about your first timers in the next two races? Because obviously they're in the money. Yeah, I, I, I like them both. I think they're quite nice fillies. This filly's drawn well. Um, against her is experience. Mm. Uh, the Moffat horse is definitely got mm. the experience against her, but she's got a really nice kick late. This filly, so I would expect her to be all over them at the finish. The other filly's also not bad, but drawn mm. terribly at eleven, so she's going to get too far back out of her ground. Um, but they are. Two nice fillies if they don't arrive today, they're definitely worth following. And then just finally, climate control, 52 kilograms, surely be uh, nice and competitive there? Well, he's, a, he's an honest horse, you know, he's, he's always there or thereabouts. Uh, he tries his, his backside off, blinkers off, uh, hopefully uh, he might, you know, he wanted the blinkers early on in his career. He's to run around a little bit, but he's, he's been all right now. He just was pulling a little bit too much in him, so let's hope that that makes a difference. But uh, you can't leave him out of anything. He's too honest. Thank you so much for your comments. May we please give you the Bloodstock check for Kaya Stables, 100,000 Rand. Of course, the uh, trainer gets 10%, 90% to the owners. Thank you to Bloodstock and well done, Mike yeah. Cock. Thank you for your time. And thank you to both Mike and Keegan for their comments. It really does help the punters. 6, 5, 8 and 7, PA Race 2 coming up next.